Have you ever used a pressure cooker to make your lamb stew or that juicy pulled pork? If you own a pressure cooker, you would know that it saves you loads of time and money. And here's the physics to explain why. Take a sample of gas and trap it inside a container. This container of gas now has a fixed mass and a fixed volume. If I stick a Bunsen burner beneath this container to increase its temperature, this gives the gas particles more kinetic energy. With a greater kinetic energy, the particles can collide with the walls of the container more frequently and with more force. Since pressure is equal to force over area, an increase in the total force exerted on the walls will therefore increase the pressure inside of the container. We can conclude that the pressure of a gas is proportional to its temperature. Alternatively, we can say that pressure divided by temperature is always a constant for a particular volume of gas. So the initial pressure divided by its initial temperature is equal to the final pressure divided by the final temperature. This is one of the three gas laws of molecular kinetic theory relating pressure to temperature. To plot a graph of pressure against temperature, it's a simple linear graph to show a constant proportionality. Back to a pressure cooker. A pressure cooker is more efficient compared to a traditional pot because a pressure cooker maintains a constant volume. It traps the fluid inside of the cooker by locking the lid in place instead of allowing it to rise. If the lid of the pot rises like it does here, then some of the energy will be used to increase the volume of the fluid rather than using all the energy to increase the temperature and pressure. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.